Greek. It's all Greek to you, right? Of course it is. But here we say, Lord have mercy. The Greek for this is Kyrie eleison. This is a prayer that shows up all over the Bible. The blind man, Lord have mercy. The poor, Lord have mercy. The Canaanite woman, Lord help me. That's what mercy is, is a plea for help. And so near the beginning of the church service, what do you do? You beg for God's help. Hey God, here I am. Pay attention to me. Notice me. And it's not just shouting into the wind, hoping that God might care. No, God has shown that he does his miracles. He shows his love. He gives his gifts to the people who ask for his help. He has come to draw near and to help you. He does just that. But you'll notice here, our pastors are going to be looking at the congregation and they're going to be chanting. That's great, but as they do that, why chant back and forth between pastor and people? There's a couple of reasons. First, it helps the pastor to, to be heard better. He can be a little bit louder when he sings than he can be when he just like tries to speak or shout, and so it's a little more understandable sometimes. But also, we chant because it's weird. We don't just like go into the grocery store and say, I'd like some green beans, please. Dumb! But we can say, Lord, have mercy, because it elevates our speech, and it says we're doing something unique. We're not talking to our best friend. We're not talking to our mom or dad. We're talking to God. This helps us remember we're doing something different, unique, special. We get to talk to God who has created all things, who forgives our sins, and who cares for you, and who wants to hear you ask him for help. So that's what we do, and sometimes we even get to sing it. That is another way that we remember who we're talking to and why that's important.